Greetings and welcome to the We All Juggle Knives channel. This is the CRKT ABC, stands for All Bases Covered. I gotta warn you, this knife is discontinued, however, I just checked on Amazon and there's still over 30 different stores, um, you know, as of when I post this, that are selling it, you know, so it's still in stock, it's still available. When those all sell out, you're gonna have to check eBay and, and secondary market. Alright, now I've had this knife for many years, actually, but I only started coming around to really liking it uh, this year. I pretty much just, uh, when I first bought it, I just didn't like it that much, but it's kind of won me over because I started using it for a bunch of things. Uh, when I first got this, it just wasn't what I thought it would be, and so I kind of just put it off in a drawer and forgot about it. Alright, um... It's a full tang knife, OS8 steel, about three and a half inches in blade length. You see it's a Tanto. It's it's basically, I think you can see, it's basically kind of like a little a little shank almost. But when I first got this, you know, it was advertised as for like EMTs and, and operators and professionals. And I just, from from the way it was marketed, I thought it would be like, you know, it almost, it's almost like they were saying you could do surgery with it. I was thinking, you know, this is going to be a three and a half inch, like, scalpel or something. And it turned out not to be that, right, because it is a lot thicker. Like, you see how, I don't know if you can tell how thick it is. It's fairly thick, and then a narrow grind area, so the angle, you know, it, it's not a scalpel. Um, it's just a mere mortal knife. But actually... Where this knife excels is actually things that you're not supposed to do with a knife. And how do I know? Because I did some things I wasn't supposed to do with this. As I said, I just had this in a drawer somewhere. You know, I forgot about it. I had some dirty jobs I needed done, so I just reached for any knife that I didn't really care about. And uh, it actually amazed me how this held up. Um, Essentially what I was doing was I was basically using it as a chisel. Uh, I actually hammered the end of it with one of my S-Wing like three pound hammers and I just hammered it. I used it like a chisel. Uh, I was, long story short, I was removing the handle from a tomahawk to replace it with a better handle. And I just chiseled it into the end of that hawk, like through the eye of the hawk. I chiseled it in as far as it would go and then I dug, I literally pried and dug the uh, pieces of wood, right? And I would dig, I would dig them out, then I would chisel it in more and dig out the pieces and bore around in it. And so I was basically prying. I mean, I was chiseling and prying and stuff that you're never supposed to use a knife for, considered abusive. I was amazed how well it held up. I mean, look at it. I also hit it about a hundred times with an S-Wing hammer right there to chisel it in. And, I mean, you can see a little marking, but, I mean, most knives, if you hit them in the, if you hit the pommel like a hundred times with a heavy engineer's hammer, they're not gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna get messed up, let's put it that way. So I was, I was frankly amazed. I was amazed at how this held up. So this is my new thrusting, prying, digging, chiseling knife and I liked it so much that I actually worked on the edge a little bit all right I just I slightly ever so slightly reprofiled the edge so now the edge is pretty good you know it's fairly thick it's never going to be like the, the scalpel but yeah I mean if you're willing to put the work on the edge oh sorry if uh, you hear some background noise I'm not sure how much actually gets through the camera but yeah. Oh, and I call this a stab view, this type of review. It's not a testing review, okay? It's just, uh, it's what I do for tactical knives that are not really meant as bushcraft. You know, this is not a bushcraft knife, so I'm not going to sit here making a feather stick or doing any sort of camping chores or batoning. That's not what this knife is. But, so I just call this a, a stab view review. Uh, one other thing about this knife, I modified it. I removed, 
the serrations. It comes with serrations. I flatten those out because I like to be able to apply pressure, especially when I'm, if I'm, like I said, this is my hard use digging, prying, dirty jobs knife. I like to be able to apply a lot of pressure with my thumb in certain types of cuts. So I went ahead and I, I hammered those down and then I filed them so they're not sharp anymore. Okay, that's so that I can apply pressure like that. I found when I was chiseling and stuff, sometimes the serrations would be a danger to me, so I eliminated them, and I like it better this way. I like it better with just a flat spine like that. All right, and I suppose you want to see the sheath too. This is sheath that it came with. All right, you see that there? It's got a clip. All right, and um, you can adjust how tight, wait, hold on. Is it like that? There you go. You can adjust how tight this holds it in with these screws right here, right? Now it's adjusted fairly tight so it'll hold it in like that, all right? That's the sheath. There's a little piece of metal in there that's kind of bent that actually holds it, holds it in tighter. All right, so that is the sheath uh, that it came with. All right, so that's my story. I'm sticking to it. An oldie but a goodie. I actually recommend picking this up if you want a hard-use blade, you know, a small one, something you could conceivably carry. You know, it's not very bulky. It's not super heavy. So it is carryable. If you want something that you can do stuff that you wouldn't do with a normal knife, uh, like I said, prying, digging, and chiseling, and also, it's a mean thrusting knife. We haven't even talked about the tactical use. I mean, this is a great tool. If you sharpen it up, you know, you can, uh, it's, it's even a good cutting tool besides all that other stuff. And then, as you can see, full tang in an emergency, it also happens to be a nice little shank. All right, so an oldie but a goodie. You know, when I find something like this, I, I bring it to you guys. Like I said, these are still available as of today on Amazon. There's a lot of stores still selling it. So even though it's discontinued, I recommend it. Very useful. All right, so I hope you enjoyed seeing the stab view of this ABC from CRKT. This has been WAJK. I'm out.